very warm welcome to the AGP Arena. Top of the table, Bill Ricky hosting Tooting and Mitchum, newly promoted, still seeking their first Premier League victory. On well, the Bill Ricky side, Alan Julian is always in goal. Back four of Elliot Kebby, Rob Swain, the captain, Joe Ellen, and Josh Urcott. And midfield of Rob Evans, Danny Waldron, and Sam Deering. And a three prong attack, Louis Fairfurness, Adam Cunnington, and 12 goals in six games for Jake Robinson. Substitutes today, Ricky Modest, Leo Chambers, Lawrence Wymock, the goalkeeper, Jeremy Lynch and Jermaine Pennant. Glenn Tampick and his backroom staff eager to keep a grip on top of the Bostic Premier Division this afternoon. There are the visitors still looking for that first league victory, but it's by no means a gimme this afternoon. Their results are showing some promise. Jake Robinson ready to get this game on the way. Billericke in the all blue. It's the black and white stripes of Tuting and Mitchell. Steering. Sprays a long ball over to the left hand side. Headed away by Colt Patterson Bonner. Cunnington's wrestling. And going to Patterson Bonner to clear. To Clements. Clements moves it further afield. Blocked by Urcott. Headed by Kebby. Get a, get a lion's share of the possession early on themselves to feel their way into this game. Bassett by Wedgworth. Deering, the outside of the boot. What a ball that is. And it's Jake Robinson. Try to get around the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Matt Pearson come out very quickly and did well. Sam Deering will take this free kick. He's going to whip it in. Or is he? He's played it short. Theophanos up on towards goal. Looping from Danny Waldron. Good save by Matt Pearson who had to be alert. Hooked it on Danny Waldron. It looks as like if it was just going to drop onto the bar or even underneath it. Goalkeeper had to be on the ball. Smart save. Off with Danny Waldron. Yeah, that would have probably hit the bar. Defended by Swain. Uh, cut. It's long towards Robinson. For Fanos. It's Deering. Goes for a strike with a left foot. Straight at the goalkeeper. Been amongst the goals much recently, Sam Deering. Uh, get that one onto his left foot, shifts it towards goal with a bit of purpose. Goalkeeper on hand to make the save quite comfortably in the end. From Sam Deering. It's O'Neill. Wedgworth. off there by Folks, but he's given it away to Robinson there's a danger from this sort of position is Robinson slams it just wide of the posts with inches to spare two tip we're fearing the worst there there wasn't anyone in better form in non-league football than Jake Robinson you kind of expect him to almost score from there just pulls it inches wide goalkeeper was beaten by Rowe, Waldron, Left by Evans for Urquhart, here is Evans, to that right foot, trusted right foot forward with distance up towards Deering, and goes Waldron again, here's Deering on the right foot this time, slams it towards goal, very, very nearly made his way through, Sam Deering this time choosing the right foot to test goalkeeper Matt Pearson, and this time he had to get down and he had to make a really good save. Tutti were able to clear. Good effort from Sam Deering. Obviously very eager to get on the score sheet. It's been a while for him. Cunnington. Took three to stop him. Third being McNaughton. Waldron. Deering. Lovely ball. Just too far ahead of Robinson. And Jake Robinson has pulled up there. 
His arm went down towards his hamstring and you have to fear the worst for Jake Robinson. This is a blow for Billa Ricky. Yeah, he's definitely holding that hamstring. He won't be taking any chances here, Billa Ricky. Jake Robinson, who is in such a rich vein of form at the moment. He's going to be replaced by Ricky Modest. It is a hamstring, Jake Robinson. It's going to be out for a week or two at least. After that, the suspensions at the moment. A bit of Ricky's squad is being tested. Alan Julian. A long knock forward. Cunnington inevitably is there. Modest. Left for Waldron. Skims it towards goal with so much venom. Just wide of the target again. Tootman's clean sheet is just about intact. Didn't quite get around it as Hilda likes. Danny Waldron, just the one goal so far this season for the big man in the midfield. In a rookie corner. Sam Deary, swing it outbound. And goes Swain. Over the top of the crossbar. Big men able to attack that. Elu Swain's up there. Cunnington's up there. They're all taking their pick. Who can leap highest? Certainly. In fact, it wasn't Swain. It was Elu. Just jumped above the central defensive partner to head over. Evans. Deering, keeping busy. There's the Afanes. Throws it towards goal from a tight angle. It's another good save for Matt Pearson. Ruth the Afanes had to stab it with his toes. Very nearly found a way past Pearson. Taken in his stride here by Bassett. It's a one on one, and it's an excellent save by Alan Julian. What an opportunity for Tutti. Excellent goalkeeper by the Billericke custodian. Out quickly. To smother Danny Bassett's effort on goal. Kebby. It's a deep cross in. Headed towards goal by Cunnington. There's Deering. Takes a touch. Takes two and three and four. Gets a cross in. And just across the face of goal. Tooting goal is leading a charmed life. Probably a shot. Could have gone down as a cross. But there was no one on the end of it. Just eeks away for a goal kick. Julian. Given away by Elul. Goes Deering. So mop up the danger and Quickly, he's off down the left-hand side. Has to check back into the presence of Clements. Deering with the cross. It was a stretch even for big Adam Cunnington. And his header goes over the top of the cross, but quickly shifting the ball from one end to the other there, Bill Ricky. Cunnington. Again, Bill Ricky off target. position <laughs> there is a half time whistle well two team will be mightily relieved that at the halfway stage they still have a clean sheet intact you know Ricky have had their chances and they've lost their talisman Jake Robinson with a hamstring injury this first half they'll be looking to try and win this match with a goal or two in the second half to get this second half underway. Omar Folks standing over the ball for the visitors. Still seeking that first victory since promotion.
from the South Division last season. When Pennant is on, Nick Kebby is off. Looks like Pennant is going to play in a wing back position. There was a chance for Folks, and he rammed it towards goal. Tutti unable to convert. Moving up again with Wedgworth. Deep cross by him. And then Julian claws it away. Sam Dierick helps it a little further down the pitch. And suddenly there's danger here. Theophanis met stride for stride by Cole Patterson Bonner, the tooting captain. Modest. Can he get the cross in? He can. It's a little too high for Swain. Turn towards goal. Took a deflection. He's away from his marker here, Urquhart. Just over the top of, in fact, it was Cunnington. And it was that volley from Rob Evans that was deflected wide for the corner. Sense of urgency from the home side now. Jermaine Pennant. Evans Pennant again. Can he get the cross in? It's a deep one. It's a good one. Oh, it's just wide from Rob Swain. There wasn't a lot in it. The big man up from the back. Pinpoint cross here from Jermaine Pennant. Right onto the head of big Rob Swain. His header just wide. Anguish on the bench. It's not quite happening for Billy Ricky in front of goal so far today. He's brought forward. Heading away from Rowe. Deering. He's got a bit of time and space in the box. Deering goes for the shot. Pills for a handball. Gets a second chance. Pulling it back towards Pennant, and Ed Cunnington! Lunging in front of him was Quincy Rowe, and he did just about enough to put the big man off. Pennant's head down, almost had too much time, waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come down there, Cunnington. And then steers the volley over the top of the crossbar. It's another golden opportunity that passes for Glenn Tamplin and his men. Expected Bill Ricky calling all the shots early in this second half, and it's off the line and it's into the net. Is it? I think Ellu got the last touch, but the referee says no, that's a foul on the goalkeeper. And Joe Ellu's effort won't count. It looked like Rob Swain had found the net. First of all, well, Waldron's shot there off the line. Swain follows up. The goalkeeper makes a stop, it's stuck between his legs. Joe Ellu smuggles it over the line, but it's judged to have been a foul on Matt Pearson and the goal won't stand still Bill Ricky striving for that breakthrough scored some glamorous goals so far this season Bill Ricky that probably wouldn't have gone down as goal of the season but it would have been an important one had it have counted Joy quickly turns to disbelief on the bench continues his run from the left back position and to wins it in the air Clements running the channel as the substitute Michael Dixon crosses managed to find Clements we've passed the challenge and once again Alan Julian was quickly off the mark to make the block great shot stopper Alan Julian and once again there he's at the rescue to Bill Ricky. I don't know, did he get the touch? Looking at that replay. It does look as if Danny Clements has rifled it straight over the top. Helped though. With Talon Julian closed the gap. Here's Deering. Pennant. Tries to whip it forward towards Deering. Deering! Surely! That won't count. It's hit his arm. And another Bill Ricky goal is chalked off. Jermaine Pennant just digs this one over the top. Gets around the defender McNaughton. As he smuggles it past the goalkeeper. The referee and his assistant have judged it to have been a use of the arm. Well, there was nothing purposeful. But I think you have to say it did come off of the arm of 
Sam Derrick on its way into the net. Billy Dunn with the outside of that right foot. And the ball up towards Michael Dixon. Michael Dixon being a menace up there since coming on as a substitute. He's got a little bit more pace than folks. Rob Swade contested there. Pennant scampering forward, getting the better of Wilson. Still Pennant, can he get the cross in? He's caught there by Wilson. Wilson is shown a second yellow and two tick have been reduced to 10 men and Jordan Wilson well he was struggling and struggling and struggling to keep up with Jermaine Pennant and in the end it needed a tug of the shirt a yellow card second of the afternoon means a red Jeremy Lynch is coming on for Rob Evans Billy Ricky looking to go for the jugular crank up the pressure Tutti only being kept off at the bottom of the table by Worthing at the moment headed by McNaughton Lynch got a touch fire towards goal Venom in that volley from Danny Waldrop he couldn't keep it down catches it sweetly perhaps too sweetly into the home crowd behind that goal wasn't that far over to the last 20 minutes here and still Billericke trying to find that breakthrough Modest is Deering Waldron deep delivery from Waldron and headed across the face of goal hits Lynch well it was Cunnington with a header and Lynch inadvertently diverts it into the grateful arms of the goalkeeper just seemed to hit his fight he couldn't bring it under control Tooting continue to hang on here quite literally hello Tooting clearing a little tug there from Rob Swain and Tooting up voicing their thoughts to the referee they are down to 10 men they think that Bill Ricky should be down to 10 men here the shirt tug was on Michael Dixon by Rob Swain the referee was quickly surrounded by black and white shirts was he the last man well yes Here's the referee's interpretation. The interpretation is another red card for Rob Swain. Sent off in midweek. That will be a considerable ban coming up for the skipper who can't quite believe that he has been sent off once again. Referee and his assistant deemed him to be last man. Last 10 minutes, Billericke still trying to pile on the pressure. They have a free kick. The ironic cheers of the home crowd. Cunnington took a right whack to the face there in his efforts to help it forward. Jermaine Pennant will take this free kick. And Adam Cunnington has recovered. Is up for the header here. Seems to have it right in the back from Callum McNaughton. I think he took a whack on the head too, McNaughton. That's a definite cut to the head there for the uh, Billericke striker. the last minute James Lynch to Deering again and bring it under control Pennant there goes Deering sliding it and that's a foul and Chato nil 
Cleans a few more seconds for the visitors and it's a yellow card for Sam Deering. It's going to be taken by Quincy Rope. Lennon's corner. Guiding in. Comes back to Deering. Deering strikes it. Help on. And there it is. Ricky Benest. 97 minutes on the clock. A Bill and Ricky finally have the breakthrough. Well, they have huffed and they have puffed and they have tried so desperately hard to blow Tooting's house down this afternoon. And just as time was about to run out on them, Ricky Modest got the merest of flicks with his header. And it squirms underneath goalkeeper Matt Pearson, who's had an excellent afternoon otherwise. And Tooting and Mitchum, who haven't won a game all season. Well, they are absolutely perplexed. They were so close to taking a point, but Billa Ricky, who have uh, come up with a late goal or two already this season, have won here surely in dramatic circumstances. The 1,104 crowd, most of them delirious, deep, deep, deep into injury time. It looks like another home win for Billa Ricky at the AGP. Sure enough, as soon as the kickoff is taken, the full type whistle blows. Well, it's better late than never for Ricky Menest, his second goal of the season, his first in the league in the 97th minute. And Pilar Ricky Town continue their quest for promotion. No one can hide their delight more than manager Glenn Templick. Final score at the AGP. Pilar Ricky 1, Tootingham Mitchum 0. Right, so I think there's probably going to be uh, an adjudicators, they're going to have a look at this because the man of matches <laughs> keep seeming to be the short players under sort of five foot nine. <laughs> so I'm doing all right here, so I'm waiting for a Swaney or a Cunningham to come in for the next lot. But um, no, I'd like to proudly present uh, today's man of the match, um, little engine in midfield, Mr. Sammy Deering. Thank you. Congratulations, mate. I'll let you say a few words to the camera. Uh, tough game today, uh, them coming from their bottom of the league or second bottom of the league. Uh, Boys had to dig in today and uh, pull out a, a last minute winner. But uh, top teams and championship teams winning, they, uh, they win them games 1 0. So uh, I'm proud to receive this and hopefully you can get many more and we can go on and win many more games out there. Thank you. Thanks.